I'm going to show you how to shoot these cool 360 photos with your Mavic Mini 2. I'm also going to show you a free app so you can turn your 360 photos into short animated videos like this. So let's get straight to it. The mode you're going to need for these photos is the sphere option in the pano photo mode, but you can't select it until you're in the air. So safely take off with your Mavic Mini 2 and climb up to anywhere between 50 and 100 feet. Select photo mode, then select single, pano, and then select sphere. When you're ready, hit the start button. The Mavic Mini 2 will now automatically take several photos in each direction until it's completely covered an entire 360 rotation. And you can monitor the progress here on the screen and it really doesn't take that long. You don't need to climb that high for these shots dependent on the landscape and what's in your shot. And I suggest you shoot different versions at different heights. Once you've completed your photos, bring the drone in safely to land and you can now view your photos in the apps album here. The app stitches all the photos together automatically to create a 360 degree image. And when you tap it, it will display as a tiny planet like this and you can spin it around and interact with it and turn it into a standard 360 image by swiping down and then panning around. So to convert this to a video, download it to your phone by selecting the arrow in the top right hand corner. Select the three dots and scroll down to save image and the image will save to your phone's photo album. And now download the free app called Reshoot360. Open up the app and press the plus icon at the top and open up your 360 photo from your Mavic Mini 2. You can now select from a number of video presets for YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, etc. And they will give you some preset video effects such as Tiny Planet Spin or 360 Rotation. And you can adjust the speed of the duration underneath or zoom in closer or further away from your photo. And this creates a simple but effective 15 second video that you can upload to social media. But for more control over image when making a short video, once you've selected Instagram or YouTube, then select the editor icon in the top right hand corner. Here you'll be able to put in keyframes to tell the software how you want the image to look and then when you want it to change. To make changes to the image, you can pinch zoom, pan around, all with the touch of your finger. So if we start up on a close up of my garden here, Add a keyframe by pressing the plus icon, play the clip for a few seconds and now zoom out to a tiny planet shot. Add another keyframe and repeat the process until you've created a clip that you're happy with. Now if we go back to the beginning of the clip and the first keyframe and play the clip, we can see how the transitions will play out and how they will change from one keyframe to another. Once you've finished, export your clip by selecting the export icon in the top right hand corner. And you can now go to the preset menu and select custom and change your aspect ratio, bit rate and resolution. If you have any questions, please post them below. My name's Rich. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.